Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to be showing you how to install Super UMVC3. And the reason I'm making the tutorial now is because the mod's been ported to Clone Engine. So the installation process is a little more complicated. I'm going to show you three different methods for installing. One for installing if you don't have any other Clone Engine mods. One for installing if you do have other Clone Engine mods. And one for installing if you do have other Clone Engine mods and you want to adjust the character select order. So I'm just going to jump into the first method for installing um, when you don't have any other Clone Engine mods. So first thing you want to do is you want to open up your game folder. If you don't know how to do that, just open up Steam and go to your library, go to Marvel, right click, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. So this is going to open up your game folder. From here, you want to open up the Super UMVC3 download. So this is the mod download. Uh, from here, you want to open up the folder for Super UMVC3. And all you want to do is drag all the files in there and put them in your game folder. And you're done. And then you can just you can literally just boot up the game and everything's going to be in there. As far as how the mod is set up, you want to you want to scroll down below the character select and these are the positions of all the super characters. So it's basically a mirror of how the regular character select is done, but Jill and Shuma they're kind of just off to the corner. So if you see here, I just scroll down from Viper and it goes to Super Strider. And you have all the basic colors, so 1 through 8 and it you have your custom assists. So I'll just pick a few characters to show you that this works. Ready? Yep. Fight. See, there you go. All right, so now I'm going to be showing you how to install Super UMVC3 if you have other Clone Engine mods installed. But before I start, I want to mention that you will need Python installed on your computer to do this. You basically need Python to run a script that's going to merge the Super Marvel Clone Engine files to the ones you already have installed. If you don't know where to download Python or what it is, I'll show you a link um, in the mod instructions in a minute. But so as far as installing Super Marvel, we're going to be merging Super Marvel with the Avengers build, which you can find on Nexus Mods. In this case, we are going to use the Bare Bones Tournament build, which I already have installed. So as far as installing Super Marvel, first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our games folder. You can just go to Browse Local Files. Then we are going to open up the Super Marvel download. We are going to open up the Super UMVC folder, go into native PCX64. From here, we want to copy the CHR sound and UI files. Oops, do not copy the clone engine file. I repeat, do not copy the clone engine file. So from there, go back to your game folder. You're going to go into the game's native PC X64 folder, and you're going to paste these files from Super into your games folder. OK, once that's done, we're going to go back to the game's main folder. You're going to open up the characters.ini file, and you're going to scroll to the bottom and take note of the last character ID. So in this case, it's 68. So from here, we're going to go back to Super Marvel, go back to the main folder. And then there's this other folder called Merge CE Mods. You're going to go in here, and you're going to open up the config any file with a text editor. Oops. OK, so right here, this character offset, we're going to need to update this to the value that you took note of from the characters any file. So in this case, it's 68. Uh, we are also going to need to make sure that this path for the game is correct. If you don't know how to do that, 
uh, in your game directory, just just copy this uh, this path. Just highlight and copy it. You can just paste it right below for a second. And yeah, they match up, so I don't need to change it. But if it were wrong for you, be sure to update it. I will warn you, though, make sure that the game is installed to a C drive. Uh, I have heard that when it's not installed to a C drive, sometimes the mods don't work. So, so yeah, once you've updated your offset and your path is correct, go ahead and save the file and close it. Um, and then before we run the scripts, I just want to show you, there's also written instructions, which you can look at, but there's a link to Python download if you don't know where to go. And so this will take you to the Python site to download it. Um, you just need to make sure you have at least ver version 3.6, but honestly, you're you're better off just downloading whatever the newest version is. Uh, you, I don't know what computer you have, but probably you want to download Windows installer 64-bit. Okay, so once once your config any is set up and you have Python installed, you're just going to double-click run scripts.bat. Uh, you're probably going to get a warning about running an unknown script. Just click more info and click run anyway. And so once you've done that, you're done. The, uh, both, both mods are now installed and functional on Marvel. And so the last thing I kind of want to go over is what the character select screen is going to look like. So because this is the bare bones tournament build, this is currently this is what it looks like. So there's there's a bunch of characters and then there's three characters at the end. So what ends up happening is that the super characters start right here, right after Hayato. So everything's going to be shifted by 5. And so what that what that ends up looking like is this. And so it could be a little confusing to find the characters just because everything's shifted. Uh, but in the third part of this video, I'll go over how to fix that a little. I don't have a perfect solution, but like I, it can be better than this. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to go into the game and show you that all the mods work. <laughs> Yep, it works. All right, so this is the last part of the video. We have all the mods installed, but the character select order is a little weird. It could be better. So I'm going to show you guys how to rotate the character select order. This rotation will only work for the super mods, and it's not going to rotate any other clone engine characters. And that's because none of the other clone engine mods have their any files uploaded with them. So there's no way for me to edit the character order for the other packs. If that ever changes, then maybe I can update the setup so it can re reorganize everything. But until then, this is the best option I had and the best I could do. Um, but before I get into the process, I just kind of want to show you what I mean by rotate character select order. So this is what the, the mod pack normally looks like basically a replica of the character select screen. And this is what it looks like when it's rotated by five. So basically what's happening is the last five characters on the character select are being rotated to the front of the character select. So it's be everything's being offset by five. And this looks really weird until you consider how it helps to kind of merge it with other other packs so basically with the with the rotated version these five characters are filling out the last row of the avengers tourney build so now every every other row of super marvel is in the correct order aside from this you know this last row where there's characters missing well this makes it a lot easier to navigate the character select especially since you can't really see where you're going since it's off screen. 
but yeah, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So I'm just going to pick up where the last part of the video ended. Uh, we had just inst like we had just merged the two mod packs. Um, so we were in this folder. So we were basically here. So the last thing we did was we double clicked this run scripts bat. And in order to do the rotation, we're going to need to undo the script changes. So all you have to do is when you run the scripts, this backup folder is generated. You're just going to go in here and copy these files and paste them into your game again. And this is going to undo the script changes. So from here, we want to go back into the config any file, just open it with a text editor. And there's this last setting called rotate. Um, in this case, I'm going to rotate by five because there's five spaces left in the last row of the other mod pack. So I'm going to set this to five, save it, and close it. And all I'm going to do is just run the scripts again. And although you can't see it, there's a terminal on my other monitor that's telling me like what's happening and that it's done. Uh, but so you'll you'll get an indication that the scripts worked. And then so so that's so now that the scripts are ran, everything's set up, and it should be in this new rotated order. And so I'm just going to go into the game real quick and kind of show that. Okay, we're going to go down to Hanada. So it's Hanada, Kala Onslaught, Hayato, and there's Super Magneto, Super She-Hulk, Task, Jill, Shuma. And so every row is now in the correct order, other than obviously the, the first and last, but it's a lot easier to navigate. Um, uh, yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. Thanks.